You sort of just go around being all cool and just pick up loads of chicks. It's Friday, we're in Nottingham tonight. In fact, we stayed here last night. Stayed in that hotel there, which is quite nice because it means we're in a city for a bit of time rather than just turning up just before the show. So we're gonna take that opportunity to go and find a museum, or maybe a coffee first. Just been to a great art gallery, Nottingham Contemporary. I was looking for somewhere to upload the vlog from yesterday, from the Leicester show because um, the, the hotel wasn't amazing. And someone recommended the coffee shop here, which to be fair, great internet. Cheers, Louis, Louis, whatever your name is, for recommending it. Uh, and then I went and had a little look around the exhibition. Someone called uh, Charlotte Johannesson, Swedish thing, trained as a weaver, and then started doing computer art. So it's a nice mix of sort of, sort of pixelated graphics and fabric and it was really good, really interesting, really liked it, had a nice sort of early 80s feel to it. Yeah, would recommend if you're in the area. So I've come to the National Justice Museum, which is all about justice. I'm in an old courtroom, I can have a look around. I like a museum. This is the women's exercise yard. It's not massive, is it? You're not gonna get very fit in here. It's a great museum. Would thoroughly recommend it. What if you could jump off here? Presumably that tree point wasn't there. Yeah, you don't want to do that. A dungeon you got thrown in and left to die. Nah, no, don't fancy that. Love that. Love learning about justice. My key takeaway from it is if you ever go back in time, wouldn't commit crimes. Not great. The options aren't great. Also slightly weird crimes and punishment relationships. Like you can like steal something, you get to prison for like seven years, and then someone who went to prison for like three months was slashing his wife's throat, which seems the wrong way around. Did you get Alf? Classic. Chocky. Chocky Is it a little taste test? Just gonna give it the eyeball test. Nice, nice consistency. Fantastic, rich, not too cold. It almost doesn't melt, melt. It's like mashed potato, if you look here. You know what I mean? Perfect. Nottingham Playhouse, Alfie. Yeah. Really looking forward to this one. The Player House. That's there. You know, they know what I mean. What do you mean? Because we're players, obviously. What's the player mean? Just, you sort of just go around being all cool and just pick up loads of chicks, do like... Well, haven't you got like a long-term girlfriend? Well, yeah. So do you ever pick up chicks, do you? No, I don't, I don't, yeah, but I do all the other stuff. Like, like what? Do you know, bad boy stuff, drugs. Oh. Do you do drugs? Uh, no, I don't really drink Meds don't even. <laughs> yeah, I do drugs actually twice a day, Robbie, doctor's orders. Uh, don't really drink. I sort of walk around, though. Is that what player is, sort of walks around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a hiker? Nah, because you sort of walk cool. Show me a cool walk. Hey, I'll play to be fair. <laughs> there we are, stage door. I like just arriving at a theatre. Yeah. It's, it's quite nice, isn't it? You just get told where things are and you I just know. go after them. It's like, it's almost like being back at like preschool, isn't it? Just yeah. going to play in the green room. Well, I have forgotten all our instructions. You New should, outfit. It, well, one thing you should never do, obviously, in a theatre is mess about with the costumes that have been left behind by other people. Is this a theatre fact? No. Would you like a theatre fact? Yeah. Yes. Would you like your last theatre fact, your last proper one? Is this your last show you're doing with us? Well, I'm got, obviously we've got a bit of Brighton, but then I will have to bugger off. Um, last, oh, last... I'm not ready for this. I know. Can't do it. Who's... If you want a good one, last proper theatre fact is we should discuss ghosts. So Drury Lane, obviously the oldest theatre in the West End, very famously has um, the old grey man who apparently is this ghost, but he's, and he's, 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 he's got what, timing issues. You can only ever see him between, between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. in the upper circle of the theatre, right? This is the, the grey man, as he's known. And he had a big hat and all this sort of stuff, proper old school. And this has been known for years and years and years. And apparently when they redeveloped and did some work in the theatre in the late 1800s, they found a skeleton with a knife through the chest which apparently, allegedly, was the Grey Man. Wow. So there you go, Drury Lane Theatre, 
famous ghost called the Grey Man. Already better than any of Stevie's urban legends. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Told the podcast. Are you free every Thursday? <laughs> <laughs> You're, right. a, you're on our podcast this week. You've got a good reception, haven't you, John? Oh, my God. I, I just... I can't begin to tell you what a pleasure. And I've, I've said to you guys that I'm just so honoured. And it was that sounds wanky, but it isn't. It was just a brilliant thing to do, and I've loved it. And people have been unbelievably kind. Um, and the fact that, that um, Jack read me out last night that some uh, there was a lady who was a nurse. Yeah, I read it. Uh, yeah. Do you know what? That that do me. Yeah. That and the fact that my kids rang me up last night and uh, and basically were telling me, it, it'll only last about two minutes, but they were telling me that they were quite proud of their old man. So oh. that uh-huh. made me feel, and, and I say the lady, the nurse with the NHS was just, that was amazing. Oh. Um, so yeah. Oh, it was lovely. The bloody phone's gone off in the middle of a oh, tender oh, moment, oh, and you've ruined it. Sorry. Probably Fee wanted me to book her an Uber. <laughs> <laughs> Who's working for who? No. Where's my Uber? Uber. Um. I found a little room with a little camp bed. I've got a towel. Here's a pillow. Have a little sleep. It's a bit like I'm in prison. A bit like the Justice Museum, but I'll get a sleep and I'll be fresh for later. It is just some yellow biodegradable paper, cool. uh, confetti, one pop right at the end, basically during the big song number uh, at the end of the show. That's interesting, John. Page. Is that a little what? briefing you do? Yes. Do you do that every day? Yes. God, you're busy, aren't you? <laughs> when we just sat around and go to museums. Yes. Again, it's that thing, if everybody knows what's happening, then it's all good and it's all easy. Who's um, your mate? Who's this is Luke. Hi, Luke. Hey. I know, really. Met you before. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, little front of house chat. And generally speaking, they're really good. And I say, if you explain everything that's going, they haven't got any surprises. They're happy. It always makes me laugh that they want to put 20 security guards and, and all the barriers up and so on and so forth. And I go, nah, nah. We'll just come out and say hello. What's this room? Well, this, obviously, uh, the lovely theatre that we're in today, Nottingham Playhouse, uh, does some rep stuff and by that I mean repertory and that means they build their own and, and produce their own shows sometimes um, so you can see round about here lots of strange bits and pieces old scenery and whatever but this amazing thing here is called a paint frame now when you see those huge cloths that they use in theatres that are you know, painted backdrops and you think wow fuck me how did they manage to do that how did they paint all of that this is how they do it this paint frame and this one here, yeah. So basically, it will drop down so they can start at the top and do the painting and then they raise it up a little bit. So it goes all the way down there. Yeah. So as you can see, so they start off, basically they will put a canvas. Uh, so, so these are probably, yeah, you can probably see here. And they roll the canvas here. So they will go up onto the paint frame. And as I say, it will drop it down so they can start at the top, probably with clouds or the top of the building, or whatever it is, the scene. Paint, 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 paint. And then they will lift it up a little bit, continue. And that's how you get these huge painted black cloths. Cool. Look, I'm in the mirror. <laughs> I just went for a run. Did uh, 50 minutes, a little tempo run. And I've had a shower, it's my first shower at a venue, and I feel quite refreshed. It's gonna be nice going out there, lovely and clean. But I'm just gonna do a bit of a Sound check now, I think. It's Pietro. We love Pietro. How's that sounding? Beautiful. Very excited by tonight, John. I think it's going to be brilliant. I love this theatre. It's gorgeous. I've never. I've always had lovely shows here. It's a really, really lovely theatre. It's a lovely size, um, big enough to be giving you some, you know, a good, really good audience punch, but not a massive barn. Um, as I say, technically, it's a really nice venue as well. Um, it's got a lovely stage, and as we've already had a little look around, um, it's all quite interesting backstage. And uh, yeah, we should have a cracker. What are you up to, Alfie? Just uh, posting a new happy hour clip with John, the tour manager. He's uh, revealing KSI's tour secrets. So you're doing all the clips now of happy hour? New I, job. I'm doing the clips, yeah. 
Yeah, new little gig for me. You're smashing it to be fair, we get loads out, aren't we? We're getting a lot out and, uh, you know, I really enjoy it. I what makes really a good clip? For me, what makes a good clip is it's above eight minutes of good conversation, not filler. Above eight minutes because you can have mid-roll ads Mid-roll ads. Uh, and um, it's got to have one really like juicy bit in it for me. So, for example, this one. Um, John's talking about, is KSI good live? Is he a good performer? And that's kind of like the bit that you kind of people are wanting to hear. But then it's good that all the other bits around it are also sort of entertaining and funny, which I think this one is. I think this is a really good clip. Where have you been off to? We went to the oldest pub in the UK. Well, well I've, I've been researching this for a Robin Knox YouTube video. Is it, is it false? There's questions, I'm still doing research, but there are questions over the evidence here. But go on, tell me about the... Well, I think it is claim. false because we also went to another one that claims to be the, the oldest in Nottingham. So how can this one be the oldest in the UK, but the other one... Yeah. I'm not, I'm not happy about it. Yeah? No, how think, was the pub? Yeah, good. Yeah, Guinness and a chicken and bacon roll. Stevie's been in the pub all day. What? You want to chat to him? No, Stevie? Never. Maybe not too. Drinking? <laughs> Are you pissed? Oh, my flies are done. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. He's so pissed. He's so, he is so pissed. I've had two Guinness. How long have my flies been undone? <laughs> Did you do it? <laughs> Did he undo your flies? How did I not know it was undone? <laughs> Can you talk? Well, yeah. So, low, 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 did I know it was on? No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Good Show's cancelled, Nottingham. Show is cancelled. Hold on, have you, have you got a code to go in your room? Yeah. Oh, I no, 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 you don't have the security no, codes. Sorry, mate. Can I come in? No. Try the code. <laughs> nah, you can't get in, can you? Just getting changed in the dressing room. Stage we have tonight. Little twirl. As much as I can twirl because I'm holding the camera. Jack, it's time to put your microphone on. Microphone? <laughs> How are you, Pietro? Very well, thank you. And yourself? Yeah, very well, thank you. I love you today. So you're running today? I did run, yeah. You look lovely. You look really nice with a bit of... With a bit of what? A bit Sweat of on. moistness. A bit of wind. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. It's a pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Got some pork pie during the show there, first time. Good fun, wasn't it? Great pork pie. Yeah, the, the show was really fun, but the pork pie was great. Pork pie is my favourite. <laughs> the business. I think, I think, if you don't mind me saying, that's my best, my best 45 I've had on stage. That, yeah, yeah. I normally judge the crowds and stuff like that, but I just felt. I just felt in control of it for that, yeah. Just personal reflection, nothing on you two, you were great as well. No, I'm yeah. nothing yeah. on you two, you weren't. No, I'm just saying, I'm just my... <laughs> good. It's yeah. good to focus on yourself yeah. rather than external factors, I think. There so, we go. Well done, you're great as a human. Cheers to that. Alfie, I've just taken a few sleeping pills, so help me sleep later. So, oh, I feel a bit drowsy, actually. Oh. Why'd, you, why'd you do that at half-time? Oh, just get a little nap, mate. You take over, mate. I mean, you just, no, I will not take over. Oh, are you joking, mate? Oh, you... A bit of banner. Hey, doors are open. Ah! That's not banner. Buzzing for this. If the second 45 is half as good as the first 45, we're in for a treat. What Ooh, a crowd. Starting, what starting. a crowd. What a crowd. So, so nine, <coughs> nine people, nine, no, no comes. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. No, she said she slept with nine people. And she's never had a good time. Yeah, but I'm sure she's had sex more than nine times. Did I just hear that? Yeah, I thought I had the camera go. <laughs> uh, when I was 15, I was on the toilet having a tug. <laughs> Uh, an accident occurred involving a feline. <laughs> she bust through the door at the worst possible time. The rest is self-explanatory. <laughs>
First time watching the show, what do you think? Lovely, mate. Glad to hear it, because we've been miserable two weeks for you otherwise. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, good? Yeah, really good. Can't wait to crack on, crack on in Brighton. Has John, uh, John taught you everything? Are you confident? Yeah, I've got pages and pages of notes. So nothing's going to go wrong, it's going to be fine. We're going to have a great time. You've been touring Lloyd Griffith. I have been touring How's he been? Griffith. He was great, yeah. Uh, good great guy, tour. Yeah, amazing lad. It was a lot of fun. Really like Nottingham. I like Nottingham for the gig. I think it's one of my favourite theatres I've been in. It looks it looks like a billionaire's cinema room or something. It's really lovely, lush fabrics and stuff and really good. Lovely crowd and I really like the city of Nottingham, which is not a place I've known a lot about before. I've been here but I've never really properly travelled around. But I want to come back and hang out a bit. Great. So Hi fun. Luke, see Hi, you in Robbie. Brighton. See you in Brighton. Hi. There he goes, new tour manager. When one departs, another arrives. <laughs> it is the way of the tour manager. Yes. There can only be one. There can only, there can only be briefly. one. Are we all in? Good. We're we're all, right. all right. We're a minivan. Let's yeah. go. He seems like a prick, doesn't he? No. <laughs> <laughs> he's lovely. He's yeah, he's lovely. so good. John, you've passed us into safe hands. Ah, oh, bless him.